Some Little Giant 6EC automatic pumps are equipped with an integral float-operated mechanical switch. Automatic operation is achieved through the pump cord. Other Little Giant 6EC pumps have automatic switches with piggyback plugs on the switch cords. The pump must be plugged into the piggyback switch cord for automatic operation. Little Giant manual pumps do not include an automatic liquid level control. The pump cord for these pumps can be plugged directly into a properly grounded receptacle with voltage consistent with the pump nameplate for continuous pump operation. When these pumps are installed in a basin with a sealed cover, switch operation cannot be observed. The basin cover will usually have a spare hole that is plugged with a rubber plug. Remove this plug to observe switch operation. Today, we will show you how you can quickly determine if your pump is operating correctly. Let's get started. Plug the power cord into a grounded receptacle with voltage consistent with the pump voltage, as indicated on the pump nameplate. Confirm that the pump and its control switch are functioning as intended. Confirm that the on-off levels are within specification, and confirm that no potential obstructions exist that could inhibit switch operation. In a sump application with a check valve installed, confirm that the factory installed bleed hole in the volute is clear. And a bleed hole is present and clear in the discharge plumbing within the basin. Confirm that there are no leaks in the pump discharge plumbing and main home drain pipe plumbing. Be sure the gate valve in the discharge line is open. Run water into the basin until the pump is activated. Do not attempt to run the pump without water. This could result in permanent damage to the pump. Allow the pump to operate through several on-off cycles and confirm the on-off levels are generally consistent from cycle to cycle. Plug the power cord into a grounded receptacle with voltage consistent with the pump voltage. Confirm that the pump is functioning as intended. Do not attempt to run the pump without water. This could result in permanent damage to the pump. If the pump is not functioning as intended, unplug the pump's power cord from the receptacle and refer to the troubleshooting section of the owner's manual. If the solution still cannot be found, contact the place of purchase or an authorized service center. If the pump is functioning as intended, Unplug the pump's power cord from the receptacle before attempting to remove it from the basin or test reservoir. For more information, reference the owner's manual. Thanks for watching.